हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वंस अगेन टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल यामी फर्टिलिटी एंड आई वी एफ सेंटर एंड आई एम डॉक्टर संकल्प द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सीरीज क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर इज हाउ कैन आई इंक्रीज द चांस ऑफ गेटिंग प्रेगनेंट नेचुरली द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन लाइज अ लॉट इन रिलेशन टू अवर लाइफ स्टाइल then we also have to consider the fact that uh, as the technological advances take place so we are basically guinea pigs we are experimental animals for it something like 3g 4g wifi radiation now 5g coming up all those things do have an effect on our body and uh, since the reproductive system the eggs and sperms are the part of our body so they cannot escape the negative effect of these things you also have to consider the fact that your food chain our food chain is having lots of chemicals in it if you see plastics microplastics these are filled in our food chain you know 60% of the cream which you apply in your hand or face gets absorbed and goes into your blood did you know that so what all can you do first lose weight Well, how you need to calculate the BMI? Just Google it. You will come to know. You need to know your weight. You need to know your height in meter square, and immediately you can get your BMI. Ideally, you should be less than twenty-three, preferably not more than twenty-five, and definitely you should not be more than twenty-seven, twenty-eight when you are planning for the fertility treatment. The second is avoid plastics from your diet. take out the plastic cups plastic containers plastic uh, bottles your plastic cutleries don't switch on the wifi throughout the night switch it on only when you're using it you don't need to switch it on throughout who's using the wifi when you are sleeping just switch it off fourth thing is reducing your mobile phone usage so don't keep the mobile phone near you all the time preferably in the night time keep it away especially when it's charging when you don't need it you don't need to be inside the network throughout your life the other thing the fifth thing is many of the couples they don't try for a pregnancy in the normal in the times where the likelihood of pregnancy is more so just to tell you briefly there is something known as fertile period that is when the chance of having a natural pregnancy is the highest so how do you calculate the fertile period so basically in a in a lady who is having regular cycle say 28 day every month she gets a period so it start from 8th day of starting of the period and it is there till around 18th day so those 10 11 days actually are the best to have a pregnancy when there is a, a confusion as to when to do it you all should always do it early the simple reason for that being that the sperm can survive in the uh, genital tract that is in the uterus for around 1 week so that is the importance but egg can survive only for one day what happens when some of the ladies they do get periods a little late say 35 days or 40 days the basic principle is that if you're having 40 days what you need to remember is the ovulation that is the the, the process by which the egg comes out of the ovary that happens 14 days before your periods so that is fixed that duration is fixed that is known as a luteal phase so suppose your ovulation your your periods come every 40 days so you have to minus 14 days from it to get the date where tentatively your ovulation would have happened so that is around 26th day your ovulation with will happen if you have a 40 day cycle so then you should be having a sexual contact one week prior to the 26th day now one common mistake which most of the couples do is that uh, they try to monitor the, their ovulation by checking the urinary ovulation uh, kits i strongly advise against doing so the reason being that the urinary lh kits are, are not very reliable to test it secondly they check the hormone hormone level when it is present in the urine that means the hormone has already gone up from your body that hormone is lh hormone which they check so that hormone is released from the brain at the time when the ovulation is going to take place so that hormone is the one which causes ovulation so when that hormone comes into your blood from the brain it acts on your ovaries on the eggs and causes the egg to come out now the problem is when this hormone goes up it changes the other hormonal pattern in your body as well and importantly it raises another hormone which is known as progesterone hormone and what this hormone does is it increases the thickness 
of the fluid which comes from the mouth of the uterus that is the cervix so cervical mucus becomes very thick and which makes it difficult for the sperms to go up the track and lead to a pregnancy and to meet the egg basically i hope that uh, this information was helpful for you for uh, all the couples who are trying for a natural pregnancy in case you have any doubt please do contact us our contact details are given here do comment on the videos uh, about what you think about it and in case you have any further questions please feel free to comment about it and we will be very happy to answer you thank you